Welcome back to Redemption 46. I'm Young. Lloyd Mira. I'm Zach. I'm Jarek. I'm Mary Jane Uzumaki. And I'm Sean. I'm Curtis. And I am Keith. Uh, Samyanduri. Y'all see it. Our first drink catch reaction in a while. Uh, this is for our last comeback that came out in the fall. OOTD. This is my fashion. Without further ado, let's get into it. Make sure y'all subscribed and all the good stuff on and YouTube. Like. Y'all <laughs> Come know the vibes. Redeemer today. <laughs> Come a real one. Yeah. That should be a ringtone. No, it shouldn't. It definitely should not be. <laughs> An alarm clock. No, everything should be on vibrate. Wow. <laughs> Thought you were playing Galaga. Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. You trying to get rid of the coke? Yeah. Okay. You might have me on board for this. One. I just need to see my girl. Where's she at? No, not her. Gay on. Dion? That's my girl, bro. She was dark hair last time we saw her, right? She had dark hair last time we saw her, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh, she lost so much weight. I don't like it. I don't like it. I like the, I like the baby yeah, face. No, her face got too bad. Dion, yeah. I like the baby fat she used to have on. She was cute. But I guess all of the dancing, the road, the calorie count, you can't help but to slim down. Yo, that looked like a Cowboys jersey. Turn this off, man. <laughs> No, no, it's not. It's not tough. Cowboys unsubscribe. There we go with the anime. Woo! Anime openings. Said, I'm making it a hard film. I already told you. I liked this. This was really, really dope. Um, the girls definitely was sexy. I love like the whole aesthetic. I love. I really, really love what they were wearing, especially when they put the hats on, of course. <laughs> um, this was dope. I feel like at first it kind of gave me like a rock feel a little bit, and then it kind of just went into a whole different vibe, and I fucked with it heavy. Um, I don't know. Did I hear a Dreamcatcher song before? 
that's the group mm-hmm. that I like a lot. They can give me shit for. We have. We have. Okay. Um, we don't Do really we? listen to them a lot, I guess. Huh? Do you nah, know? nah. Okay. This is their best song, though. This is a fire song. Um, I would have to say, since I, I can't remember any other songs, this would be one of my favorites by them. Until I hear more, um, which I really want to do. Um, hashtag I can smoke to this. <laughs> um, <laughs> for sure. My daughter I'm like saying, she's catching. By the way. Uh, <laughs> first and foremost, <laughs> since this is Dreamcatcher, I want to say happy International Women's Month. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the ladies. Shout out to the women. women. You know, shout out to y'all. Definitely. Uh, but this video was <laughs> super fire. Like, the way they shot this, the edits, the computer. Mm-hmm. Insane fire. fire. Mm-hmm. Insane. Insane. Um I love their outfits. You already know the vibes. I know what I'm here for. The outfits. Um all of the black outfits are super fire. I can see Mary Jane pulling some of these off. Not the ones that's kinda like with the white shirt. Like the it's like the oversized black jacket. You could definitely see you pulling that off. Um some of these outfits I definitely enjoy as well. It's kinda like a throwback ish baggy look. With the mm-hmm. headband, definitely like that as well. I thought she had Jabo's on for a second. That's what I thought. <laughs> um, video was super dope. The song was definitely fire as well. I like it. I like this a lot. In a way, I feel like they could be Power Rangers. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yo, this beat is so crazy. Oh, the production go hard. Um. I'm talking about production here, man. There was no pause on that production. That shit was going crazy. Um, I love the the subtle beat switches, um, the drum patterns, the the hmm. the use of the synth. Everything was just that shit was really fire. I really enjoyed that song. Um, and then the video. I think this was well like well executed everywhere. Um, the video, the song, the I love how they started it, like on the desktop of the computer and everything. It was just some really cool edits throughout the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, cool edits make music video f- music videos fun when us executed carefully and thoughtfully. Um, and just the whole like computer vibe of it was was really Bless nice. You. Um, Bless your soul. That beat was, that beat was nice, man. Whoever did that, they was doing that. Yeah. Like every word, making the songs, they had fun. Yeah. The videographer. Even I, I would like to see a behind the scenes of them in the studio making this, if possible. Um, <laughs> sound like a fun session to be a part of. Yeah. As soon as I heard it, like it came on so hard, and then you seen the soft, oh, <laughs> and then you seen the soft of it, like, <laughs> and then it gave me like, <laughs> and then it gave me like Tokyo Drift, like they about to go ahead and do it some crazy hard, cars, <laughs> yo, seriously though, like it came on real hard though, and, it, and like yeah. super and it, pause, <laughs> pause, nice. the hardest hey, yo. Come on, come on. but no, uh, <laughs> it was hard though. Hey, <laughs> yo. I haven't heard <laughs> we gotta, no, but no, it's hard. Oh, all jokes aside, though, like I, I definitely like like all the aesthetics of it. Like it came on, like and it was just like what, like <laughs> I didn't say nothing wrong when I said the last part, though. Hashtag pause but in the comments. <laughs> I like all all the wardrobe, everything that all the ladies had on. It's definitely Women's Month. Like this is like, and they showed it <laughs> for sure. Mm. They killed this video. Okay, like hell yeah. yeah. They yeah. Youngest member is twenty five. Just turned twenty five. Oh wow. Okay. I will say, like, I, I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure if this is like a download for me or anything like that She's necessarily. The I do like Jeez, like man. the um, the aspects of the production and everything. I love all the the stylistic choices that they went with in the wardrobe. Knowing that the song is like about the outfit of the day and everything is about like kind of self expression, so all the the different wardrobe aspects, like you could almost argue that that's like one of the most important things in like you know the behind the scenes aspect of it, mm-hmm. as far as kind of bringing that um, that aspect of everything you know to life. Um, and especially knowing like I, I'm imagining this also probably and granted I can't speak to it of course, but like. Um, 
I imagine also this probably hits probably differently in SK as far as like you know kind of being in that office space, everything a bit more um, a bit more uniform in the sense that like you're not able to quite express yourself or feel like you could perhaps be lost in like the masses and not. So like I kind of get that aspect of like deviating and then like you know the aspects of them having like their hair dyed and everything like that. I love. Um, um, almost like some of the rock aspects, both paired with the production and some of the uh, the vocals that were being hit, particularly by the one who had the dyed uh, blue hair and the one who had Yuyan and the one who had the dyed red hair with the curls. Uh, they the pair of them too, as far as like how they were kind of hitting some of those crescendos in the notes and everything. It felt like because like if you're talking about being all kind of bottled up and everything, some of the belting out kind of feels like that release of expression and everything. So I, I like those aspects. I don't know if overall it's a download for me. Like some of the slower parts in the build to the um, the hook and everything like that, like the O O T D uh, like chant and response kind of call and response. Um, I wasn't quite. It, it took that a bit to grow on me, but I will say, seeing it, <laughs> yeah, right on International Women's Month. But um, <laughs> on uh, some of the, like seeing the actual video itself, you can feel it a bit more. So it does kind of make me think that like a live performance of it and kind of that synergy with the crowd and everything would make it hit a bit for me. But on a first listen, it's it's a little, I'm not quite sure if it's a download yet for me, but it feels great to hear Dreamcatcher again. I, I can't even remember the last uh, track that I'd actually heard from them. So that was uh, really refreshing. They snapped on out of the choreo too though. Mm -hmm. So before you, let me, let me go before you go because I'm pretty sure you're gonna have a rebuttal for what I gotta say. Um, I like the song, right? But I finally, I like, well, I like the first half of the song, but I finally figured out what it is with Dreamcatcher that drives me fucking crazy. Um, besides the fact that sometimes it sounds like an anime opening, it's the fact that, may, and maybe it's how we're listening to it, but the instrumentation always seems flat. Um, the guitars, you could definitely tell they're programmed and they're not like live in studio as they're being recorded. It just... That's not true for this. It just, but it's what it sounds like though. Yeah. But it, it just sounds like, it sounds flat. It sounds like, hey, we're gonna give you a, uh, something that's punched up on a keyboard. Almost like, I can't even say 80s music, cause it's not, 80s music sounded warmer, but it's also might've been the way it was recorded. Um, this, it, it just seems cold at the end of the day. And a, a lot of their other songs that I've heard, a lot of the other songs that I've heard, it, it doesn't sound like it's, it doesn't sound 3D. It sounds monotone. Um, or like stereo, it just sounds like it's just coming out, everything is cut out of one speaker and not kind of like balanced properly. It, and again, it may be how we're listening to it, but. Cause that's how I felt with serendipity. And then I listened to the regular, I, you know, we heard it on the rise. Mm -hmm. We had different speakers by then too. And it sounded completely different. So, and I love that song, so I get it. So like, I love the hip hop element. I love what they did in the beginning of it. It's just that when they started to go Dreamcatcher, it just kind of instantly, okay, I'm, all the, the layers that I heard in the first half of the song, I didn't hear in the second half of the song. Vocally, absolutely. Production-wise, I didn't hear it. And it just kind of sounded like the same, you know, cold keyboard, guitar, hey, I put this grouping together, go in there. It, it didn't sound, like if there was a live band behind it, like you can hear the, the layering of the live band, I think it would have hit way different. I think a lot of the music would hit way like different. Tiny dust. Um, maybe not even a tiny dust, but like live on stage. Cause you know how like when you when you do a live performance, that band is fucking, mm -hmm. they're, they're ad-libbing, they're ad-libbing, it's crazy. It doesn't sound uniform. I, I do, but I just not from a studio version. The studio version sounds cold to me. Maybe in speakers, like I'm at headphones. Maybe, but I don't know. Yeah, I, that's why I'm not. That's why I said I'm like I don't have no problem with you saying that. Like if that's how you hear it, because like I said, it's been songs like that with me that are now some of my favorite Korean songs. Mm -hmm. Like uh, remember mm -hmm. we I had only heard that in here though okay. when we first did that. And so we did the we, did we do the live or we did the color code? We did the live jump where they was like in the box. And you couldn't really yeah yeah. So I couldn't really hear that when I heard that in the car for the first. I was like, what the fuck? Now <laughs> that's like my second most listened to song of probably like hey. last year and shit mm -hmm. like that. And then, like, so it, I get it with a couple songs, but are you are you? Finished? Um, yeah, essentially, I, I don't want to keep beating. I don't want to keep shitting on them or beating a dead horse or sounding like I'm shitting them because I did enjoy the song. I really did. Uh, um, but it's just, you know, uh, oh, as far as the looks, you know, the women look great. Uh, they look amazing. I thought the, the editing was great. That was already been said. The coloring was amazing. Um, especially kind of hitting those, like using the lighting and giving me that cyberpunk vibe in some of the shots as well. 
you know, the outfits of the day were always on point. The, the first person shooter look um, was the guy basically having a visor on. Um, at the end of it, you kind of find out he's like, it's, a, it's an actual guy when he falls over and his hand reaches out. Uh, but, you know, I thought that was definitely cool. I thought it was good. I thought the, um, the idea of the video was definitely um, something that, you know, that was uh, kind of nuanced for them and, and definitely new. I like it. Uh, other than that, I mean, you know, it was cool. It, it's just, I, I just, I don't know, musically, I just want, I just wanted the sound warmer. Um, as, a, as a comparison, like my favorite album, Beautiful Dark Twisted, live instrumentation throughout. Uh, even like Jay, uh, some other people's uh, center next to you, like just the, the live, the instrumentation sounds way more full and, mm -hmm. and surrounding. Even if we're listening through this, it sounds like it's engulfing you and, and you know what I mean, holding you. The, it, it just seems cold. Um, I don't know. What, uh, the way the music sounds? You. So you never listen to something and it just sounds full? Like the sound of it is just all encompassing. You feel like it's around you, like just the way they produced it. So I like you can, you can hear like maybe the guitars in the front and the drums sound like they're further behind. You know what I mean? Like just the way it was mixed might be different and maybe that's kind of what I'm trying to say. I just wish it was mixed a little different. But that's their style and that's, that's kind of the vibe I've been getting from them. Um, so it's, it's definitely them, but it's, you know what I mean? It felt a little different to what they usually do to was, me. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And I, I even turned the stuff is usually not as not so as hip hop. Yeah, to me, not as hard. My opinion, yeah, not, not as hard for you. As the uh, yeah. resident, yeah. As, the, as the resident insomnia here. Uh, so I won't act like this was like my favorite Dreamcatcher song ever when it dropped or anything like that. Like mm. I said, this is our most recent comeback. Uh, but uh, this was still a very, like you said, this is a departure from their usual title tracks. They have B-sides that are more rap and okay. R&B and like strictly stuff like that. Um, but this was definitely like the change. This is more of a like, like I said, down to earth kind of speaking. Because usually their videos are high concept. It's about some uh, crazy fantastical type of story that they have and everything like that. And very fantasy based. Very much so. Their their whole concept is that they're uh, they each have a nightmare that they're running from. That's the whole concept of the group. They each have a different seven type of phobia and a nightmare. That and the sense. dream catcher being together is what saves them, and they saving everybody else. But anyway, so but with this comeback, they definitely went a little bit more like two thousands to try to you know to do the throwback. You can kind of see how they dressed in like throwbacks, the baggy jeans, that the wash jeans. I don't like that jersey, bro. The uh, <laughs> GU is wearing like the butters. What I like with this one though is the line distribution. It felt like a lot more even than some of the other title tracks, even though Dreamcatcher is known for having some of the best line distribution. Mm -hmm. I do wish Dami Rap was a little bit longer, mm -hmm. but uh, Shion, she killed it opening it up. And like the live performance of this is always dope too, because the way they kind of like bring her GU and Dami in is, is real dope. But uh, like I said, this wasn't like my favorite Dreamcatcher song ever, but I did appreciate it for them stepping out of what we're used to as far as title tracks and even how the MVs are shot and stuff like that. Cause mm -hmm. even when I first got into them, I said, I wonder what they look like doing like something a little bit more down to earth as opposed to all this like magic, magical, and, the mystical you know, shit. time yeah. travel, spacey type stuff and everything like that. Because this is like, the, this is how the girls dress in real life and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And so this was kind of like a, one of those type of songs for them and one of those type of comebacks. They were wanting to do something more down to earth and fun, especially like I said, the oldest member, she's about to be 30. This year. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good time. That, no, that was a good time. Great time. Great time. I love it. Time. But uh, yeah. So and you know how K-pop, the fans, they treat they treat idols a little different once they yeah. start getting once to get like older. late twenties and thirties mm -hmm. and shit like that. So you know they kind of still like popping this stuff. And the third gen group's really still killing them. They're actually like a top four, top five, third gen girl group that's still out here doing it, and mm -hmm. they're not even from one of the big companies. So, you know. Quick question. Keep it moving. You got to see them live, correct? Yes, last year. Actually, um, literally a year ago, Friday. Did they do? Was this song out at the time? No, nah, this just came out in November. Okay. Um, so. Actually, we just dropped. They just dropped two concert version songs. So I was when, the when they do it live, is it live band or is it like just a? No, nah, they did. They did this at an award show in uh, December. No, I mean like at the concert you went to. Oh no, nah, they uh, they played a, they played a track. They played a track. But it, you, that shit sounds. 
that shit was crazy in there. Yeah. Last for, year. for the type of yeah, music they, they do, man. Huh? For the type of music they do, a live band would be just so much better. You got to think, though, on a tour, because they're on a tour in Europe right now. They just, mm-hmm. I think they're about to wrap the tour up. But they do their tours over a matter of two weeks. You got to think, they a foreign group. They from a smaller company. They don't have the bread like BTS where they okay. can stay here for okay. like a whole month. Huh? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. And they don't, um, they don't. So the budget's a little lower to yeah, whereas, you that know, makes BTS, that makes if we got our whole band, we could pay for all of them. We got to pay for everybody, visas and passports. Like one member of the group, Han Dong, she's Chinese, so she don't have the same visa and passport that yeah. they do. So you saw that with uh, Everglow. With yeah. Uh, and the thing is, our our fandom is like 60% international, probably. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we got one of the bigger international fandoms and everything like that. So it's a now little, That makes sense. That, you know, that, makes, that definitely makes sense. Yeah, but like I said, uh... Dope John. Obviously, this isn't my first time hearing it or anything like that, but definitely feels good watching it with y'all and seeing y'all reaction. Love's cheating like again. Anything else? Well, redeemers, y'all already know the vibes. Like, comment, subscribe. Send it to y'all friends. <laughs> y'all know the good stuff. Bye. Love you, redeemers. Long yeah. live Nick. Good job.